Olympics of racing really and, and, and uh, you're, you're always hoping to have a horse good enough to get there and you know it's always better if you have more numbers going the more darts you have to throw at the board but we're happy enough that, that we have a couple to go this year that's worth going, that's worth going with and, and hopefully they're not going to make up the numbers. Delighted to win, you know, we were a bit unlucky. Sean O'Keefe got unseated on him at, at Christmas, but maybe if he had won that day, uh, he'd, have, he'd have got a seven or eight pound penalty and he mightn't have won the bigger pot that he did win. So, you know, he, he, he can't be, you can't get it everywhere. Zoy is staying on, Duke of Navin is staying on, Camino is staying on. They're inside the last 200 yards, and it's Dakota Moret and Jack Kennedy in the lead. From Camino, Duke of Navin in Revelin Pleasure, up towards the finish, and Camino in between horses is coming home, best of all, the pinch it! Camino has clenched it in the last few strides. Beginner's chase he won wasn't, wasn't a great race. There was four or five non-runners on the day and uh, we were very worried about the ground but he came out with it very well and I thought that the handicapper had given him too steep of a mark but as it turned out he was right uh, in fairness and he, I was just delighted to win such a big pot with him over fences the last day and uh, he deserves his take, to take his chance. Jim Coffey is a very good, very good supporter of the yard and he just likes to go into these big places. But the one they've got to worry about is latest exhibition. Latest exhibition and Max Brown on the near side have come to Colibray side. They've shaken off the attentions of heroes of renown and then roll again up the hill towards the finish in the last. And it's a form of compensation of the afternoon for Paul Nolan as latest yeah, exhibition. Yeah, you go for a champion bumper. I mean, he's a six-year-old. Uh, hasn't a savage amount of experience. Sonny. He has, he's, he's had two runs, but uh, I think he's improved an awful lot from the last day. And... Uh, the way he ran to the line and ran through the line in Ace, uh, he deserves to take his chance. We're not going to go over hurdles with him this season, it's too late. And uh, he'll go and hopefully give a reasonably good account of himself. We thought he'd have a chance uh, and uh, we, we, we sort of rode him to run well uh, and we probably overdone it a little bit but it was you know, unfortunate that they went, it was the one race in Shelton that went no pacing and blow by blow made the running, got a freebie in front, there wasn't even a mark on his, on his, on his colours when he came in and uh, if something at all had taken him on I thought we did a great chance but he dictated from the front and uh, I mean there was only one horse behind us out so uh, you know that wasn't ideal but we made up ground and he ran well after so we're, we're still happy with second. We, we thought that you know that over hurdles he wasn't grade one standard we bombed to punches town after Cheltenham and, and then he was well beaten he was beaten 20 lengths uh, so over hurdles uh, he, he wasn't at that standard but over fences I think he's, he's elevated himself and uh, I still thought uh, after the Drinmore uh, and in fairness he didn't jump as well and, and Brian was uh, easy enough on him uh, from, from sort of three out home, uh, but uh, in Nace that day, I, 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 was, I, was, I was very pleased with him between the second last and the last and I thought he was coming with his run and he, he had every chance and he tipped up but there to be jumped and he didn't jump and that was it. We go over on Monday, uh, the horses probably go the day before and uh, we arrive over and we, we, give it the, we give it the full week just in case we miss anything.